There is another type of conditions or inheritance that is also affected by gender that is not necessarily making one sex more likely than the other. Rather, the inheritance is usually from the mother's side. So if the mother has the condition, the offspring will have it. If the father have the, has the condition, his offspring will not inherit it. And this is the case for conditions that are present in mitochondrial genes. So for example, we just saw the mitochondria in cellular respiration. So any genes that are involved in, um, in the process of mitochondrial cellular respiration, any uh, diseases associated with that will be inherited on the maternal side. That is because all the mitochondria in the uh, embryo or in the zygote come from the egg, come from the ovum, which has all the mitochondria from the mother. The sperm doesn't contribute any mitochondria, although the sperm has some mitochondria in it. When fertilization happens, only the nucleus of the sperm joins the egg and the mitochondria are discarded. So the mitochondria that remain in the egg, in the uh, zygote, are all coming from the mother. So any mutations that are present in those mitochondria will be present in the offspring. On the other hand, if there were any conditions present in the male mitochondria, those will not make it into the embryo. Another consequence of having chromosomal sex determination, that is having different numbers of chromosomes between males and females, means that females have two copies of the X chromosome while males only have one, and their Y chromosome is very small and it only has a few genes. So most of the genes present on the X chromosome are not present on the Y chromosome. And this has big consequences because the genes that are expressed from the X chromosome will have twice as many products as you have two chromosomes to transcribe from in females compared to males where you only have one chromosome where you can transcribe from. And here we can see the relative size difference between the X chromosome and the Y chromosomes. Most of the products of the X chromosome are not uh, uh, the genes are not present on the Y chromosome, so they're, they're not going to be transcribed from the Y chromosome. As a result, in females, one of the X chromosomes is inactivated, and we see that as a bar body, so they are, one of the X chromosomes gets compressed, and it, it, um, it is highly tied around the protein, so it's very compacted and cannot be accessed for transcription. So only one X will be available for transcription in females. However, which X becomes inactive is a random process and it happens once the embryo is several cells old. So once you have a few cells, a se several cells old embryo like here, some cells will inactivate one X chromosome and other cells will inactivate another one randomly. And then once this happens, those, the daughters of those cells will have the same pattern of, sex, of uh, X inactivation. So some cells might inactivate the, chromosome, the X chromosome from the mom and some might inactivate the X form, chromosome from the dad. And this results in that if a female if is heterozygous for genes on that X chromosome, some cells would express the recessive allele and some cells would express the dominant allele because the other copy was... Uh, inactive. And because of this uh, X inactivation, we can see patterns like we see in these calico cats, which are all female. So they have two X chromosomes and they're heterozygous for fur color. Normally, black color is dominant to brown, so if the female is heterozygous, she should only express black. However, since the X is randomly inactivated, if the there is a patch of cells where the X that became inactive was the one with the dominant allele, with the black allele. Now the brown allele gets a chance to be expressed because this, the chromosome with the recessive allele is the one that is now active in those cells. And the one with the dominant allele has been inactivated and has become what we call a bar body. And the cells that show the black patch is because they are the ones in where the X chromosome with the dominant allele is active and the one with the recessive has become inactive. So this pattern only happens in females because, and females that are heterozygous, so that they will have some cells that inactivated the X chromosome with the dominant allele and some cells that inactivated the X with the recessive allele. Since this is a random pattern, 
even two identical, genetically identical cats will have a different pattern because this happens once the embryo is a few cells old and, and then different cells will inactivate different X's and uh, result in different color patterns as, as we see here.